we are excited to announce that IBM Quantum Experience is now IBM Quantum. And with this release comes a suite of improvements to its two main programming tools, IBM Quantum Composer and IBM Quantum Lab. The updated dashboard offers high-level information about your services, reservations, and any pending jobs you may have, while highlighting some of the latest news coming out of IBM Quantum. Tired of staring at a white screen while you code? All of IBM Quantum can now be themed to your preference from within the account dropdown. Ready to get to work? Launch your preferred tool from the top of the dashboard or grab your API token if you prefer to work locally. The app switcher can also be used to browse the full list of tools that IBM Quantum has to offer. IBM Quantum Composer users will be excited by the addition of left-hand panels that allow them to perform critical tasks, like managing files or tracking jobs without leaving their workspace. Jobs are pre-filtered by circuit file, but can be quickly adjusted to show a user's full list of Composer jobs. Clicking into a job allows you to review job status and details without needing to go to the full job results page. The setup and run process has also been improved to make it easier to select a quantum system or simulator to run on. There have been similar improvements made to IBM Quantum Lab with the addition that users can also organize and store files within folders. Looking for help or tutorials? The Docs and Resources panel allows you to browse the complete set of lab documentation before selecting a resource to open. Head over to the IBM Quantum Services page to check on the status of your systems and simulators and quickly toggle to see the full list of available services that IBM Quantum has to offer. New to all of this and wondering how to get started? The User Guides directory will point you in the right direction with helpful links to documentation for each of our programming tools. We hope you enjoy these improvements. Let us know what you think by leaving your feedback in the comments below or in the feedback tool within IBM Quantum.